Hi, thank you for joining me for this review of this Holy Stone HS220, the Southern Cross double mode drone. So this has altitude hold, a 720p HD camera, can take HD video to the app, 6 axis gyro, can do 360 degree flips and rolls, it has headless mode, multiple speed control, 2.4 gigahertz, LED lights, and the double mode can either work with a remote controller or with the app. It's very nicely packaged in this box. Also has a one key takeoff and land. And if I open this up, This is the HS220. Now it is an FPV drone. But if you have a look here. You ask yourself, well, where's the camera? So this can either fly like this, fold it in. Or else we can extend these out and fly it like this and now we can see where the camera is too so quite an innovative and good design here we can see the LED lights we have brushed motors that are quite well cooled, little rubber feet for landing on hard surfaces. These cards are flexible and the props are quite flexible too, so it should be quite durable and they just push on. And this comes with a 3.7 volt 750 mAh battery, which should be good for a flying time of 7 to 9 minutes. But we get two of these batteries. Uh, first of all, it says just remove it first, remove this, and we can put it in there. And then the power button. Is just a touch button control. So just touch, you can see, and just a touch, and it comes on. So also quite innovative having a touch button for powering it on. And if we have a look at what else is in the box here. We get four spare propellers, so always good to have spare propellers. Get a Star Phillips screwdriver, spare rubber landing feet, four of them in fact, and then a micro USB to USB 2 cable for charging the battery. Look here. This is the radio control transmitter and here we get another 3.7 volt 750 mAh modular battery. So this is the same battery that the drone uses so you can fly if you're flying it with the app you can use both these batteries or else we just push that in there. The power button on here. Got a stand to fit in an iPhone or an Android phone. 
to fly FPV and also to use the app. Very nice to see the various functions labeled. Both gimbal sticks spring, lo spring loaded. And here we also get the instruction manual. Good quality on glossy paper. Big writing, easy to read. We've got our warnings, maintenance. Drone details, function buttons for the radio control, and mode 2 is the default setting. Mode 1 settings. Just a quick start guide here, and cautions, batteries. Wing flight mode, which is with the things extended, and then folding flight mode is when they are not extended. Pairing and starting it, starting and folding mode, calibrating the gyro, the long press of the headless mode button to calibrate the gyro on a level surface. One key starts and landing, doing the trims. It's got an emergency stop button. If we press both buttons on the top down simultaneously, speed switch on the top, and then the 360 flip on the right hand top. But uh, this can only be performed in wing flight with it extended, headless mode, and then here's where, what we do to download the app and how to connect to Wi Fi using the phone holder, taking a photo video, specifications, troubleshooting. General information. So, a very nice detailed instruction manual. Uh, let me get the box out of the way. So, here's everything unpacked. Uh, we have a closer look at the radio control transmitter, the power on button here. There's one key takeoff, one key land, trim button. There's for headless mode. Here's to take a picture, short press, take a video, long press. And this button's for folding mode, and that's the indicator button when it's in folding mode. Here we've got our speed button. And the radio controller has four speeds, and the app has three speeds. And this is a 360 degree flip and roll button here. You can charge the battery by just plugging the micro USB cable into here and the other end into a USB source while it's connected onto this. Power this off. And the battery doesn't have a USB port on to charge it. So you can only charge the battery by plugging it into the radio control transmitter. Because we don't have a USB port on the drone here. Now this also has a low battery alarm warning, which is always good. Also doesn't have an SD card, so photos and videos will be recorded directly onto the app. And the app is called HS Cross. If we start it up here and click on start. Yeah, we can select speeds, 
three speeds on so if we want to fly using the virtual joysticks switch it on here off there one key take off and land be emergency stop hit that there yeah we can switch from mode one and mode two we can use track mode and do camera reversal a vr split screen so you can fly 3d vr mode using vr glasses you can select gravity control and maneuver it by maneuvering your mobile device headless mode and to do calibration that's for media start recording video and take a photo so those are the app functions And then to connect to the radio controller, bind, we can see it's there. And to calibrate is a long press of the headless mode button here. Lights flash and then go solid. And that is it calibrated. Now this has a range of about 40 to 60 meters and an FPV range of about 35 to 50 meters. Let's see what will happen if it does go out of range. So I'm going to start it up, press auto takeoff and then power this off. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. So in about six seconds it will power down if it goes out of range and we rebind with it press to land again and then it'll land an emergency stop is just by pressing both these buttons down together. Switch this off and just power this off. So an interesting drone. Quite a few functions uh, using the app and it'll be interesting to see how it flies in folded mode and also in extended mode. But we can only fly FPV with it in this extended wing mode. So let's go and see how it performs. So I'm just going to do a little test flight indoors. Now the main thing is you can fly it folded and then the front is where we see this little folded icon. We fly it open then front facing is where we see the open cross icon. So just a little touch to turn it on and there we can see it's on. Yeah. Turn on the radio control transmitter, bind, then the lights go solid. Now we've got to put it into folded mode, so this is indicated and on. Going to press take off, so it starts but it doesn't take off, so we've got to toggle up, and this is it very nice very smooth holding nice and steady easy to fly in this confined space try and do a, a roll okay so when it's in folded mode you can't do flips and rolls put it up for speed holding altitude really nicely Back here. You can see one blue light showing the head and three white lights when it's in folded mode here. Okay, in the third speed. 
also very stable, very steady, very nice. And now in the fourth speed. And still stable, nice. And I can feel it maneuvering a lot quicker and a lot better. Back into the low speed. And let me bring it into land. So I go down and press land. And it lands slowly. Now let me show you what will happen if you try and fly it folded uh, without pressing the folded mode. So we press start. Uh, you're going to have a major speed wobble. So always remember to put it into folded mode when you fly it in folded mode. Uh, now let's try it in open or wing mode. So now let's try it in wing mode or with this folded out. So the head direction is there. Going to put it down here. Touch button and it comes on. Connect to Wi Fi. And we can see Holy Stone FPV. Press to connect. Busy connecting. And that is it connected. Now the app HS Cross. Here, click on start and we connect it and have Wi Fi FPV. Turn on the radio control transmitter, bind the lights have gone solid. Now, not going to press that and to calibrate, press and hold down the headless button here. The lights flash and then go solid, and then that is it calibrated. I'm going to start video. I'm also going to start the clock. Take off. So a nice steady take off. Holding altitude nicely. And now we can see in this wing mode or with it unfolded, we've got two blue LEDs in the front and two white LEDs at the back. Holding steady and nicely, so we're in a very confined space. So I try and do a roll in this confined space. Yes. So a very nice tight roll. And holding nicely. And I take a picture in flight. No, I can't because the video is on, so we'll just leave the video running for now. Do a yaw. And a nice slow yaw. I've already tried it in the different speeds. I just want to now leave it in the low speed. And let's have a look and see what time we can get. So I'm just going to fly it here indoors and see how much flying time we're going to get off of one battery. And what will happen when the battery starts getting low? So this is ideally for flying indoors. Obviously a bigger space will be better, we can do more with it. So one thing I've discovered, let me try and turn it here. It actually orientates itself and moves. So if it does turn, 
it goes into the forward position too, which is actually something I haven't seen on a quadcopter before. Oh, very nice, very good. What? Okay, we've got low battery alarm now. And let's just have a look. What's going to happen? So it's still staying in the air, but let's see if it's going to automatically land. Yes, and it's going to automatically land. So unintentionally, we can also see that it can take some knocks and recover quite well with its altitude hold and forward-facing orientation. A good flying time of 8 minutes 15 seconds off of one battery. So with the two batteries, at least 15 minutes flying time. Flies really nicely, even in this confined space, in both the folded mode and in the wing mode. Does really nice tight flips and rolls. And here is a sample video clip and also a couple of sample pictures. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. Looks very nice in the dark too. I'll also try and fly this outdoors in fairly low wind when I get the opportunity and post it in a separate video or else this video will be too long and test the app gravity sensor mode and also the track mode or follow me mode a really nice style and design and good to have the two modes very stable good quality 720p camera and nice functional little drone.